Morning already, y'all. We's early. We's early. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? I was trying to um, get myself situated. I was already starting. And I was like, well, let me talk to the people. Let me get my charger down here. Now, I look a hot butter mess. I'm put my put you guys on my charger because if I don't, you're gonna go off. So hold on a minute. There we go. There. So today is Wednesday. Let me turn y'all a little bit. There we go. So you can see the field down here. Today is Wednesday, the 20th of October. And it's a gorgeous day here in Texas. It just is. It is like 10 o'clock at night. Mm. I'm eating these sugar-free um, jelly beans. I like to take them out. And I like to eat a particular color and eat all of those and then go to my next one. So I have pink, yellow, and reds left. I ate all the greens and oranges. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, what did I do today? Mm, mm, mm. So I only went to work for a few hours yesterday because I was going to go get my hair done. Called my beautician and she was like, not today, Charlie. I said, that's fine. I'm not going to get into it because I said, that's fine. I made a video on my way home yesterday. So I'll upload that. But I basically said the same thing. I'm like, it's whatever. I'm going to stick that cellophane wrapper over there. And so I called her today. I couldn't get her. I called her. Uh, Pam called her first, couldn't get her. And I waited for a while. And then I called her and I was like, if she wasn't going to do it, that would have been fine, too, because I was tired and I just really wanted to go home. And if she didn't feel like doing it, I didn't want her to do it. So she was like, yeah, that's fine. Come on. And she doesn't charge me to do my hair because she comes for services and I don't charge her. So. What. What I get done is I get my hair braided and then she add these tracks, a weave it's called, onto my hair. And when I sat down, she was like, oh my gosh, your hair is so long. Um, I left my hair out of an unprotected style for about a half a year and I just burned all my hair right back off. My hair was real long and she had helped me to grow it real long and then I just I just went to town on it, just adding all that heat to my hair. My hair said goodbye. It did. And so I said, that's it. My hair is natural, but it's very thin. So that's enough about hair talk. I've got it up inside of a cap right now in the band because it's real poofy when she first does it. It's just, it's big. I have Diana Ross hair. I'm coming out. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I got off of work at 3 o'clock today. It was good. And I was like, let me swing by and get Logan, even though he's in the opposite direction of the hair shop. I wanted to come up north and grab the baby because he spends a lot of time in his room like a lot of time he's an artist he likes to draw but he's also very sociable which a lot of special need kids are not you know so i want to make sure he stays sociable and I'm gonna get this off of here too and like spending time with his peeps you know because uh, some of those kids, they just kind of go off in a corner by themselves. I'm not trying to create no weirdos. Now, one of these symbols is just Willy Wonka, uck, uck. 
It really is. I don't like it when symbols are close, resemble each other closely, because that just drives my little eyes into a crazy frenzy trying to figure them out. Like these, well, y'all probably can't see, but there's three little dots. What number is it? Y'all probably have that canvas. Three little dots, and it's A20. It's a white circle with three little red dots in it. And it just it looks just like a17 which is a yellow with a black t in it, it it's it, uh, excuse me with a red t in it so those three little dots from 320 and the little red t just a little line with a, a you know a little i don't know they look the same y'all like we can't see it so we don't know what you're talking about it ain't important. Let me just put this one away because I'm not trying to be frustrated on this on this uh, Wednesday night. So we're going to put that one away. And then I'm going to go do... Let's randomly pick one, shall we? I don't want no scrub. Um, why? Why not? It's right down here. Can you guys see down here? Let me tilt you up a little bit there. How about that? Now y'all can see where I'm working it. Now you can see. Okay, shut your mouth, Lisa. Shut your pie hole. Let's see. Um, 16. Now, my nails. Let's talk about nails. Like, we're women. Nails are interesting. Now... There is an artist that does nails like, oh, Jesus. He literally takes your fingernail and draws a whole scene on the nail. Okay. So my, um, one of my reps, IS Clinical. If you guys want a good skincare line, IS is, IS Clinical is a good one. Okay. And she comes in and she has every nail has a design on it. And they all go together, you know. It's just a little much for me. I actually had her guy do me. Um, because I like how it looks on her. Don't get me wrong. But it's much on me. Um... Why? I don't know. It just, it, it just is. I don't like a lot of busyness on my hands um, unless I'm going somewhere and, you know, or if it's Valentine's Day or is there if there's a reason to have my hands looking all busy and cray cray. But on an everyday, no, mm, no, not me. And this is about as long as I can have my nails and still be functional. Um, they say you get used to long nails. And this is pretty long. Pam's always like, mm, your nails are so long. You know, I'm like, oh, no, they can be longer. And if I, if I didn't work on people faces then yeah maybe I could get used to having long hands because I like how long nails look I just think they look very feminine too long and then you get into the ghetto area of life so I don't like them too long but they're not too long for me right now um so I got my hair done it's big and fluffy and it's going to take me a little getting used to, as it always does when I get it done. But my daughter was like, Mom, you look fabulous. I was like, really, Kimberly? And Kimberly, my kids are divas. Even my boys are divas, you know. Um, I was looking at the um, Cameron's pay, uh, not his paycheck stuff, his um, bank statement. And I was like, what's this 384 for this 386? He was like, <laughs> yeah, that's a pair of shoes I bought. I was like, see this foot? Do you see it? You just start laughing. You're going to find it right up your rear. You better stop all of that. So 
I mean, I don't mind him buying. I think $400 is expensive. I, I just do for a pair of shoes. Now, I've got clients that are like, oh, my gosh, Lisa, these were $1,500. Oh, those, Louise, those were $1,700. Oh, those were $22. Okay, that's fine. You got extra money to blow. Do what you do. But this boy is, he's still a student. And I'm paying for his school, his, his um, everything. So, no, you don't take your money and go buy $400 shoes, you know. And then I look at his bank account and I'm like, you don't even have gas money in your account. But I get paid tomorrow, he said. I said, oh, okay, I see how you're trying to roll. You got a poor man's mentality. I'm going to have to break you from that. So, yeah, that's that's just not right to spend all your coins. And if he's doing this at 24, hell, he going to be broke all his little life. You better learn how to be a saver. So I told him, the first paycheck, you can blow it. The next paycheck, I don't think so. I don't think so. So I told him, you get half of your paycheck. That's all you're getting is half. Because I'm going to have to put the other half up because you ain't got good sense. Either God didn't give you good sense or I didn't give you. So since we both didn't give you good sense, we're going to have to come back later and make sure you get that that uh, knowledge. Because that just ain't right, you know. One of these days, he's going to be a man with children and, and a family. You, you got to learn how to be responsible. What are you going to do? Come to your mom? Mom, I didn't do right by the money. No. I already got one little beggar in this house. Well, he ain't in this house. Y'all know my son. <laughs> Y'all know that boy. Richard. I'm telling you, it's the name. So, yeah. I got a work tomorrow all day long you know I've come to the conclusion you people I think I'm getting lazy because I look at the schedule and I'm like oh I gotta work all day <laughs> doesn't everybody have to work all day I mean normal people not you know, business owners or supervisors, you know, they kind of can do whatever. But I'm talking about the average citizen. When we go to work, we usually work an eight-hour shift, right? Some people work a 12-hour shift. Don't live in another country, honey. Um, when we were in Thailand, those people would be out there, the same people, every day, six days a week. I ain't even lying to you. I was just like, lady, you look like you're 80 years old. And they were like, um, we, we were talking to the people and they were like, we don't have any social programs. We don't have like social security and, you know, all of that kind of stuff or welfare. We don't have that here. So um, if you don't work, literally, you don't eat. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, I can't retire in this country. Because I would be feeling too sorry for the people. I would be like giving money out left and right. And that's what we do when I went over there. This one lady. Okay, listen to this. I don't know what this condition is called. But the face was literally, the forehead, the whole face was melted. That's what it looks like. It's like the elasticity of the skin. Um there's something wrong with the, the elasticity of the skin and it's just long skin hanging. And the forehead, to give you an example, the forehead and the chin were in the same location. The eyes were covered. I mean, I was just like, I was just staring like, God, what am I looking at? I mean, I was just so, and I don't get emotional, but honey, come on, come on. You got to lift your face up to see out your eyeballs. You know, I was, oh. and Logan, 
poor Logan, you know, he didn't know what he was looking at, but that baby had enough sense to walk over there and put money, put money down for the, that lady. And, um, yeah. And when we went to Washington, there was so many homeless people. I went to, uh, I told you guys this, 7-Eleven, and there were so many homeless people. I started giving out money, and um, my, my boy, Cameron, he gave money, Logan. It was just almost innate. It was like, they're like, oh, these people don't have, let me do, because they see me doing it all the time. I mean, th that my kids have a beautiful spirit. That's why I make them go out with me to feed the homeless, because I want them to know there there's people that are not as fortunate as you and you're responsible to help you know so yeah i couldn't imagine having a stingy spirit you know thinking only about myself it's just not who I am and I was talking to and it, I'm not saying this because I'm some great person I just love being a giver I love it um my Aunt Annette she said that's the way you've always been you're Rachel Shaw's granddaughter of course you're that way and I was like show you right I mean I was so touched by her she prayed for me and she was saying that to me you know and my daughter said, my aunt was telling me about an opportunity um, out there for um, my, one of my uncles was selling her a house. And um, I said to her, oh, I'd like to go in on it with you, you know, because it's investment property. And um, she was like, no, Lisa, you know, stop it. I don't want to do anything with money with you. And I was like, I don't want people to feel that way either, you know, Um But she she um, she has a great opportunity because the there's two units. They're like it's a, a duplex, and um, both of the um, sides of the houses have always been rented out. Always, there's always someone in there renting. So it's a great way to retire with some rental properties. You know, not for me, for her. If she if she takes advantage of that opportunity, as I told y'all, I don't want to retire anytime soon. But um, yeah, I would love for her to be able to benefit that that way. Um, she's the aunt that when I go to New York, I'm always remodeling something in her house. We did her kitchen, we did her dining room, and then COVID hit, so. I need to go back and pick another room. I think I want to do her bedroom next because I believe that your bedroom should have all the amenities of a hotel. You shouldn't have to get away from your house to go experience something nice, you know, just for a week or so and then come back to your shacky room. No, no, we want to have nice stuff on the beds and everything like that i went to this one hotel with pam and um we went to a wedding in amarillo texas and um the pillows and the blankets was so comfortable I was like ripping that pillowcase off. What kind of pillow is this? And um, I called Willie. I'm like, Willie, <laughs> get me this pillow. Get me this pillow. I'm not coming home unless you've ordered this pillow for me. So I just think that's really, really important. When I go out to Belize to my partner's um, resort, 
their their linen, the beds, the everything are just five star. Seriously, just five star. So that's Syrian Bay. Um, if you want to know the name of his resort, it's Syrian Bay in Belize, Texas. The most beautiful people you'll ever, ever come in contact with. Down to earth, just beautiful, just seriously. It's the Montgomery's is their name. So, in part of Texas, it's, it's Grapevine is the town. And um, Color and Chat with Joanna lives in Grapevine, I think she said. And, um, ooh, I told you business, girl. But anyways, they have so much stuff going on in that town. And they have a wine tasting um, type of uh, event that happens every year. And I went to it one year with the Montgomery's. And we had so much fun. There's this one client. I haven't seen her in a while, but her name is Debbie Gill. And um, she's real fun. She's a single gal. And um, she's always planning something. Like she's on like every board you can think of, you know. And um, so we went with her. They're about to have it. All that to say. Like, Lisa, where are you going with this story, girl? They're about to have it again uh, next week. And I want to go. And I know my husband has been like, the corona! You know, he'll be all cray-cray about it. But um, maybe he won't be that way if the Montgomery's invite us. So I'm going to call Mr. Montgomery because he's back in town. I text him the other day. I'm like, where you at? He's like, we just got in last night. I'm like, cool beans. And they're coming to see me on Friday um, they booked a two hour appointment, which means they came back looking raggedy. That's what that means. They're probably going to need Botox filler and everything in between. So, um, yeah, I want to go with them. They, they're fun people. They're conservative, but adventurous at the same time you know i think they want to be wilder than they are they're pretty conservative and you know and when i say conservative i mean like in their speech and the way they carry themselves and the way they dress and you know that kind of conservative you know i'm pretty wild like First of all, wearing clothes is optional for me. I'll be the first to tell you, honey. I will rip some clothes off in a hot minute, and I don't care who see. I don't. When we go to the spa, we have the nudist area. I'm all up in there. Lisa. Yes, my love. You can't stay up all night. Listen to him. You ain't staying up all night. Diamond dots, diamond art. And, uh oh, he coming up here to disturb me, y'all. No more crying and punishment for you. I wasn't, I was talking to the people on my, my thing. I'm not doing that. No crime. Why I can't watch no crime? No, Willie, really? I cannot watch that right now. What is this, Ecuador? Willie, I'm making a video. They can watch it too. They don't want to watch your stupid video. They don't even like you. Because you won't get on the camera. That's really pretty. What is this? That's the house I want to buy. That's the house you want to buy? Yeah. You know what? You're making me so it's mad. Guess, Come here, let me spit right in your eye. It's got a guest house. Who's who going to stay in the guest house? That'll be Logan's. Oh. How much is it, Willie? It's a dog house too for when your mom comes. <laughs> I thought of everybody. How much is it? It's affordable. It's, it's less than this house. Oh, my God, Willie. It's got a pool and tennis courts. Oh, it's got multi-courts. So you play basketball, tennis. 
Come here, let me spit in your right eye. Come here. But I can't be poor with you here in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yes. We're not poor. I've been a nigga. <laughs> well, be quiet. <laughs> Okay, I will watch your stupid video. Just give me 10 minutes and I'll just put a save on that. Thank you, Master. <laughs> <laughs> get hey, Willie, get me some water or something to drink. I'm You're not Kunta Kente. You're not Kunta Kente. Go get me something to drink. I'm sorry you guys had to witness that. <laughs> Isn't he crazy? Oh, y'all just don't know the half of it. He is crazy. We have too much fun. Oh, do y'all see? This is every day. Every day he's like, Lisa, let's just retire. Let's just retire. Go, your black butt. Oh, oops, sorry, y'all. Leave me alone. That's what I want to tell him. Anyways. Now I forgot what story I was talking about. I totally forgot what I was. I'm so sorry, people. My husband, he don't even care. He's so rude. He just come plop his phone down here for I can watch what he's watching at all these different properties in Ecuador. He even got a, uh, wanted to buy a hotel. That way he could. I said, he, he, he can't be a landlord. You know, he cannot. He Oh, Lord, here he comes again. Your water, man. <laughs> I shall retire now. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I was looking at houses. I picked my next house out. All right, I'll it. look at it in a minute. You don't play basketball. You don't play tennis. You don't even move oh, your I'm body. Good. I'm good at tennis. Willie, you have not played tennis in 20 I years. You never have before. When you were fit, you didn't beat me in tennis. Or bowling, might I don't add. Don't you diamond out to keep your mind straight. And, and you you ain't working. <laughs> no, you don't do bowling good either. What else keeps your mind straight? Because I'm going to need you something So other. do you beat me in bowling? Other than diamond dots. Do you beat me in bowling? Um, I know you ain't going to lie. You can beat me. You can beat me in bowling. Okay. But that's because I haven't practiced and I got tricky balls. Yeah, you got shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story. Get out. Not for prime time, though. <laughs> Get out. Let's keep it G. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. People, I'm so sorry. Y'all had to witness that. Oh, my God. He, um, one day he said to me, out of the blue, he was like, let's go bowling. I was like, all right, but I'm pretty good. He said, girl, we used to go bowling when I was in the Air Force. And I said, well, my dad used to take us bowling all the time. It was something cheap that all his kids could do. So we went bowling. Uh oh, here he come. I whooped his tail. So bad. Willie, if you about to come and tell me something, what? I know how you're cheating on me now. Yeah. I'm cheating on you with, with diamond, diamond dots. dots. <laughs> I'm all out the house. <laughs> anybody that want free diamond dots, come by about eight. You gonna throw them out? So we went bowling and ladies and gentlemen, when I, my husband is very competitive and mind you, I actually was trying to throw the game when I started seeing him get mad. Cause at first I was like, pow, what you got to say about that? Pow, what you got to say about that? And then I looked at his face and he was like, well, the matter he got, the worse he played. And um, I told him I was good, but he didn't want to listen. So I tried to throw the game at the very end. It didn't work. And so I was real quiet on the way home. 
because uh, I didn't want to rub it in. Now, my son-in-law, oh, he's real good. He he can bowl his little legs off. I say because he's short, he's closer to the ground. Dang near just push the ball down. Now. <laughs> Anyways, he, he bowls good. But I like to just have fun. I don't want to compete. I don't even want to keep score. I just want to have fun. But no. After that, and I'm not jiving. After that, I went to work the next day. And I came home. This man had ordered all types of bowling balls. Where you literally have to get your hand drilled. Your fingers drilled. For your hand so the ball perfectly fits you and only you i was like are you kidding me so he got all these balls made for him and um he bought bags and shoes and i mean he went a little crazy not just for a month or two for a while and then whenever Kimberly came up let's go bowling you know he said come on let's go bowling to me and I'm like I don't want to go bowling I would just say I don't want to go I, let's not go bowling let's do something else because he was just getting he was just getting out there so after a while I knew it would lose its charm so to speak and then maybe we could do something different Cameron, come, come. Where's my phone? I don't know, Bubba. You took it downstairs? I did. Yes, you did. When you got my water. You took it and you said I'd watch this later. And I handed it to you. Oh. Here, Cameron, get mommy some water. Oh, no. Oh, no, we free. <laughs> He's so bad. So You're bad. Still diamond yes, I'm still cheating on you. So my husband watches that. What is it? Bounty Hunter? Bounty Hunter D. Bounty Hunter D. It's good it's ridiculous. It's about people that get caught cheating on other people. He, he's basically the cheat detective. No, he does. He does. He, he used to do bounty hunting and other stuff too. That's yeah, he he's pretty corny to me. I like him. He, he's got the good person. Yeah, because you love humiliating people. No, he's good people. He's not good people. He's out there he's causing. A private detective. That's what he does for a living. Oh my gosh. He's ridiculous. He's no, and he's he insults people because he's like, uh, you're a cheater. Get to walking. That's not nice. That's degrading. Well, you gotta have some entertainment factor. Honey, then he's not nice. You can't entertain people at someone else's expense. Say again. Oh, my God. YouTube, YouTube is sounding on that. <laughs> That's a, it's a founding principles cornerstone. <laughs> No, it's me. Angela and them sent me videos of the, the another part of Ecuador they're in right now. Mm -hmm. She's just living the life I tell you? that you want to live. <laughs> living la vida loca. <laughs> <laughs> Truly in Spanish. <laughs> so, I'm coming. Get out. Let me finish cheating on you. I've heard that before. <laughs> Get out. Both of those together. Get out of here. Go. Get out. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even do you today. Oh no, you say you're done. <laughs> you're done. There's a difference. 
when I don't want to talk anymore. I'm done. Yeah, I did give him his phone back. Anyways, your dad is jealous. Thank you, baby. He wants to he wants to retire with Angela and everybody else. But we can't retire. We got to put you through school. <laughs> so I was going to check into college for Logan for he could take some art classes and stuff like that. And so I have to, I never got full power of attorney for him. So I need to do that. Here in Texas, you have to hire a lawyer um, to like represent you, the family member. And um, we have to go through all this rigmarole um, to prove that we're fit to take care of our special needs son. And I was supposed to do that when he turned 18 and I never did. He's 22. It just snuck up on me like 22, boom. You know, I think because the pandemic has thrown everything off. Like I've lost years of my life because of the pandemic. Sometimes I feel myself to be disoriented just because I'm like, I did, I just did that last year. And, and people are like, um, ma'am, that was three years ago. You went to Thailand and I'm like, what? Yeah, it's actually been um, four years that I went to Thailand, but it, it literally feels like it was just like a year or two ago. So. I'm trying to drink more water because I normally don't even drink like this. You know, just guzzling it down. But I'm trying to get better at drinking water. What in the heck? Someone's over there playing music. Okay. Is that Willie? Let me go shut this door. See, this man here. Oh, I'm going to have to cut him. I didn't want to have to do that. There. I can still hear it a little bit, but not a lot. And if you start playing music with words in it, we're really going to have a problem. Because then I'll have to yell, shut it up! When I met my husband... The one thing that I absolutely loved about him was how funny he was. And people would say things like, that's your boyfriend, you know? And um, I'm like, yeah. Uh, I think we look like an unlikely pair you know, because he's so nerdy and conservative. But um, no one knows what your relationship is. And no one knows what one person might find totally attractive. And I think a funny man, a man with a sense of humor, oh my gosh, I will take that over muscles any day. I don't like very muscular men anyways, you know. Um, I do like men that keep in shape. But I don't like muscles. They don't, they don't do anything for me. In fact, I think men that have big muscles are usually arrogant. Now I say that and I'm sure I'll get a lot of hate. But that's how I feel. <laughs> You've got to spend an awful lot of time working on your body to maintain that, especially at our age, you know? So if you're doing all of that, you're probably neglecting me. 
<laughs> and we ain't gonna have that. So, or you might admire yourself a little bit more than I would want you to. So, yeah. But he's, he's funny. He's a funny man. He keeps me laughing. I mean, like all relationships, you're going to have the, the good and the bad. The bad is he's got a horrible temper. I mean, when he's mad, whoop, forget about it. But then he gets over his anger like that and swears that he wasn't mad or, you know, he, he gets over his anger really fast. I mean, it's it's almost like he needs that medicine. You know, that doctor said he needed the medicine for, you know, his anger to help him to control himself, to be balanced. But he doesn't want to take it. He think he can control himself. Well, he does very good until he's not doing good. You know, and then he's, ah! Then he's like, oh. he's so remorseful, you know, about getting that angry. I mean, to the point where he, he actually becomes emotional. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I, you know, I acted that way. And I'm looking at him like, mm-hmm. I'm sorry you acted that way too, you fool. <laughs> Shame on you. You're a grown man. Can control yourself. And sometimes I tell him too. Which of course makes him angry. <laughs> well, you made me angry. Yeah, well, I probably did. But um, you didn't have to do all of that that you did. But as I'm getting older, I am learning to look like they, this is this is a, one of my grandma's sayings. This is a Rachelism. Look upside their head. So when he get to acting up, I just look upside his head like, like you crazy. And then he knows. He's like, don't be looking at me like that. I ain't crazy. That's when you really know you that person is crazy. Because they now know that you think they are crazy. Mm -hmm. My one client said, everybody is crazy, Lisa. It's just a matter of how crazy. And I was like, girl, that's a true statement. Because I think back on some of the stuff I did. Let me tell y'all something I did. That was crazy. Y'all ready for this story? That's going to be the last thing I'm going to tell y'all. Not. So, I told you guys, and I probably told y'all this story, but let me tell it to you anyways. Because I can't remember if I told you or not. Y'all know I can't drink. I can't. I can't drink. <laughs> I mean, really drink. Like, some people can drink. Well, one night, I never was the type of person to go out really clubbing or anything like that until I was in, um, I was already a mother, of course, but... I went out with my sister to a place called the Buffalo Club. And then um, I had a drink. And I met Willie. Then my sister took me to another club like a week later. And this was a club club like people drinking and laughing and it was a club club and I liked that I was like this is so much fun you know just dancing and acting a fool out there well I had a drink and 
I can't drink, but I didn't know that because I didn't drink. So I drunk the whole glass. <sighs> Whoa, like the room was moving and I didn't know if I was moving or if the room was moving, honestly. And I was like, oh man, this is a weird feeling. Uh, you're drunk? This is what they call being drunk. I wasn't tipsy. I was past that by then. I was drunk. So this guy said, can I have the next dance? I said, sure. So I was on the dance floor. And next thing I know, I was being swung around. And Willie was standing there. And I said, hi. And he said, what the hell are you doing? I said, I'm kissing you. And he said, that's not me. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. So he said, you can't drink anymore when you go out, Lisa. That is ridiculous. And I told him, you can't hold me responsible for that. I, I don't feel like I can be held responsible for kissing someone else. That wasn't a willful kiss. And how do I know that he wasn't just kissing on me? I might not have been kissing him. He could have been kissing me. Don't slow drag when you're drunk. The moral of the story. Because <laughs> you just might kiss another man. <laughs> Willie never, ever has been the jealous type. Or if he, if he is, I've never really seen it. Because guys will come on to me or say something to me and he just laughed. This one guy was like, oh my God, you are so beautiful. And he was with his wife. And his wife said, yeah, you are really pretty. And I was like, Ugh, are you kidding? And then that's when you start saying, but look at this. Look at my tooth is cracked over here. Look at this, look at that. You know how people do, right? And um, my husband said, I was just telling her how beautiful she was. She doesn't believe me. I was like, oh, I was young then, y'all. I was young. Uh, yeah, now I'm all old and crippled looking. Yeah, the looks done went away. Looked like someone poured acid on my face. So yeah, unrecognizable. But it don't matter because I'm married. And he ain't going nowhere because he aged worse than I did. <laughs> Oh, let me tell you, Willie's looks has changed. He used to have real pretty uh, Indian hair, wavy, 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 beautiful hair. And um, his mom is, I don't know if she's mixed with Indian and something else. I don't know. I know they got a lot of Caucasian in them, but he, um, he was 165 pounds. Now he's 250 something. The last time I saw, before the pandemic, he was 250. He say he 250 now, but honey, I think he lying because he got two navels. So, mm -mm, he ain't never had that before. So, I think he's fibbing. I think he's 260. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to have him get on the scale when I go downstairs so I can witness myself. But, um, so he was 165, high yellow freckles, nerdy glasses, and um, smart as all hell. Like, whew, that, that man is smart. Textbook wise, oh yes. I remember he was studying for his GRE. It's uh, the, the test you take for your um, master's degree. And uh, I was looking at his book. I said, what the hell are they at? He said, read this question to me. That's what he, we was in the park one day. You know, just a cute little young couple. We're sitting in the park and 
He said, read this to me. Test me, what he said. I was like, I started reading. I was like, what's this word? <laughs> he told me what the word was and what it meant. Wait, is the, when I what's this word? He was like, can you read? <laughs> I was like, I can't read this kind of stuff. No, no, I, I cannot. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. But it was, I don't know. It wasn't linear equations. It was some, I don't know, some type of math problem dealing with engineering and um, I don't know. It was difficult. Uh, that's all I remember is it was difficult. And I said, here, you gonna have to read this yourself because I cannot read this. I cannot understand it. it, ain't, it you ain't, by the time I finish getting through this one paragraph of what they're asking you. Oh, Lord, that was the wrong one. Uh, you could have read it yourself twice. Hell, that does go there. So, mm -hmm. I was telling you guys, I was watching those funerals. Oh, what time is it? Oh, we got less than nine minutes left, y'all. I was watching those funerals, and um, there was a funeral of a young mother. She looked to be in her 20s and her little one-year-old son. Oh, my gosh. He was so cute. And they got in a car accident. And they ain't with us no more, y'all. And I was just like, no, she's too beautiful to die. Her husband went up to that casket and looked at his wife and his baby. And if it wasn't for the folks holding him up, I believe that man would have got in the casket with the people because he he hit the floor he was falling down to the floor and people were like this i the one lady said i had to watch it three times this video because she said it was the most beautiful home going she had ever witnessed well I watched some of it, but it was just too much yelling and screaming. I mean, I like worshiping, but I don't know. It's just, it was too much. It was too much going on. Everybody had something to say about her. And I was like, if I was in attendance, I would be like, okay, y'all, thank you. I'm leaving. It was too much. It went on for forever, too. I don't want to. I don't want to go out like that. I don't want to take up people's time. I just want to say, I want them to say she was good. And she probably up there annoying the Lord right now. Asking him where the diamond dot section is. <laughs> If everything is better in heaven, can you imagine how good the diamond dots are going to be, y'all? We'll probably be putting down real diamonds and gems. Mm-hmm. We can't be bored. And it's going to be better than earth. So, oh my gosh, Lord. I don't, I don't want any gems in my crown. <laughs> Just put me diamond dots. Put me in a room with diamond dots. <laughs> and um, the Lord probably, Cameron, you know what? I was just telling the people, if the diamond dots and diamond painting is this good down here, think about how good it's going to be in heaven. I'm probably going to be wearing, using real diamonds. <laughs> he shut the door. <laughs> me uh, he looked at me like really mom and shut the door <laughs> it's true y'all think about it mm, mm, mm. i gave you 
something to think about. Did not. Lord Jesus. Mm. Just fodder. Willie said, I can't stay up late tonight, y'all. That's what he said. You're not staying up late tonight. You ain't the boss of me. Why you want me to go to bed anyways? That's the question. He just wants to get me in there for he can trap me and show me more Ecuador uh, videos. That's what he wants to do. See, when y'all old, that's what you do when you go to bed. You both watch YouTube. And sometimes he fall asleep with his phone watching YouTube. And I have to put his phone on the charger. Because he's just over there drooling and snoring. So romantic. So, yeah. All righty, you people. We have four minutes left. Y'all know I try to go an hour with you people. I do. I don't know why I don't do shorter videos. I probably could do more videos if I did shorter videos. Would that be better, y'all? I think I asked y'all before, and folks like the one-hour videos. <laughs> oh, my little nose is just a running like a sieve. I'm so sorry, y'all. Probably like, won't you blow your nose and stop sniffling on us? <sighs> there we go. Take care of my nose, y'all. You know, when your nose is running and then you're looking down, it's going <laughs> to run some more. I'm sniffling, y'all. It runs faster, right? It's whatever. So my client said, Lisa, what do you guys charge for Botox? He goes, well, it's cheaper in Canada. And I'm up here in Canada. I said, well, get your Botox then. Well, I can't because I'm headed to the airport and I need my Botox. I'll get it next time, he says, when I come up here. Because he's back and forth all the time. I said, that's fine. I don't care. If you can save some coins, save some coins. But um, we ain't going to change our price. That's fine. Go ahead. Get it up there. Because uh, Botox is not a money maker. Mm-mm. It, we just have it to lure people in and it's expensive to buy and then you got your needles and you have to reconstitute it with saline solution and all this kind of stuff so baby bye get it over there mama ain't gonna be mad at you but um maybe they can get it cheaper themselves i don't know but I know one thing today, this is truly going to be my last story because I only got a minute and a half to tell it to you. So today, Pam come in, I'm doing permanent eyebrows on a lady and Pam comes in and says, Lisa, one of the patients needs you to use some holorandes and dissolve her. And I was like, what? Who? She's like, well, you didn't put the filler in another person put it in another doctor put it in or a doctor I'm not a doctor a doctor put it in and uh I said okay she's like well the same doctor put it in last time and you dissolved it and I stopped working and I looked at her she had my full undivided attention and I says wait a minute you're trying to tell me that she went back to that same doctor and had him put in some more filler now she wants me to dissolve it she said yep Okay. So she said he talked me into some more filler when she came in. I said, I'm gonna kick your butt. Cause uh that don't make any sense to me that you would 
let someone jack you up or, you know, treat you and you not like it. And then you will go back to them and let them treat you again. But you keep coming to me for me to dissolve what they're doing. So you're, you're paying to be dissolved and you're paying for filler. That girl, bye. I, I can't even do some of my patients. I'm serious. Because some of the things they do, it's just like, why? Why are you doing that? But. Oh, well. It has been one hour and 41 seconds. And I better let y'all go to bed. Or maybe you're watching this in the morning. I better let you get to your day. Be blessed and be good to everybody you run into today. Deuces.